The Rattling Sting has to be one of my all-time favourite lures. It might look a big lure, but this absolutely slays a perch. If I'm going out fishing and I want a lure that I know that will catch perch and pike, this is the lure that I use. It's a super fun lure to use because you can get really aggressive with it, you can be fast with it, you can cover a lot of water with it, and you can soon find out where those perch and pike are sitting. There's two different versions available. The first one is a suspending version. This will, as the name suggests, just suspend in the water really nicely. Um, with a wire trace, depending on thickness of wire, it will sink very, very slowly. But even though it sits in front of the fish, and that's exactly why I think they nail it. The second version is this, and this is a deeper diving version of it. Exactly the same colours, um, exactly the same size of nine centimetres and this actually floats. So what you can do is you can jerk this down right down to the bottom and then let it float up and then jerk it back down again. So it gives you a slightly different presentation to the suspension version. Now like I said, it's nine centimetres long and all that sounds like a big lure and looks like a big lure. Um, I can assure you that the perch aren't afraid of these. When they're feeding, when they're chasing bait fish um, and they're aggressively feeding, these are the lure to use. You can jerk them back, like I said, quite aggressive um, and get a great action from them. And when there's feeding fish about, I don't think there's a better lure. So, a couple of my favourite colours. The real yellow perch. I find this colour perfect for really clear water. Um, yeah, just anywhere where there's, you're running really clear water, I find this colour. It's got a little bit of transparency to it, um, quite a natural colour, and yeah, I've caught loads of big perch on this. So my second favourite colour has to be the Sexy Shad. Um, not overly bright, but it does stand out really well in mucky water and it's got that beautiful UV red eye there that when you put a bit of UV light on it, absolutely goes crazy. So yeah, that is one of my favourite lures. So the retrieve I like to use for these is a mix of very aggressive movements and then long pauses. And this is where the suspending version comes in. So I'll cast it out, I'll give it a few turns of the reel handle just to get it down to the depth I want it to, and then I'll get really aggressive with the rod and jerk it and twitch it. So that it's really erratic in the water and then just let it pause. Because it's suspending, it will very, very, very slow sinking, it'll just sit there. And that's when the perch hit it. And if you know you just continue that retrieve very aggressive retrieve, then let it pause. Very aggressive twitches, let it pause, and carry that on. And like I said, you can fish it very quickly, you can search a lot of water. You know, if you're, if you're facing a big water and you want to find out where them fish are, this is definitely the lure. To enhance this lure even more, we've got some ball bearing rattles in there, as you can hear. And I think even when fish are laying quite dormant, um, not really feeding, the aggressive movement of this lure and the rattles can really wake the fish up and get them feeding. So whether I'm out after perch or pike, or just a day where I'm having a bit of fun, chucking some lures around, this is a lure that I always take with me. So if you've not tried the Rattling Sting yet from Salmo, go to your local tackle shops, have a look and give it a go.